Hey everyone and welcome to this hopefully useful video. Um, today I'm going to present to you a great piece of software which is called System Informer. It's a source forge uh, project. It's, it's great. Um, if you play a lot of retro games, if you tinker a lot with old uh, 3D engines or other stuff, um, you might at some point have needed to, for example, restrict an application to run on a specific CPU core or just uh, removing or adding CPU cores, um, or wanted to persistently change the like application priority settings. So if we go in the default Windows Task Manager and... Uh, God damn, this sucks. You need to go to details, I think. Yeah, so you can set a priority setting, but it's not persistent. So every time you relaunch the application, so if I close Dropbox, even if it's in high, uh, it's going to go back in normal every time, which we don't want because that's just really annoying and nonsensical. Uh, there's an easy, non-convoluted way of doing this, and it's to use System Informer, which is a piece of software that completely replaces your default Windows Task Manager uh, and is doing a, a great job uh, at that, in my opinion. On to the download and configuration, actually. Um, so that link is in the description. There's no recommended setup. As you can see, it's uh, coming soon, I hope. <laughs> um, so you just want the nightly builds. And then you click this system informer, you want the executable file, not the uh, zip file. Well, you can take both, I guess, but the executable file is an executable. So once it's downloaded, you just double click it. More info, run anyway. So the application is not signed. Um, Windows is going to lose it. It's probably going to tell you not to download it, not to install it. It's going to be very annoying about it. So we install, don't need to browse, just do next. Start program with one setup exits, of course. And as you can see, the, um, the installer has been moved into the root folder of the application, which is very nice. Anyway, so the first thing I do is to um, look at the root folder of your system informer. So the, the setup has been moved here, as you can see, by the way, that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty neat, in my opinion. We're just going to take that, I've already done it, but um, yeah, window security, virus and threat protection, manage settings, uh, add or remove exclusion, god damn, this is fucking, and here you go, system informer. So as you can see, you do add exclusion, add an exclusion folder, and then your uh, system, info system informer root. Once this is done, this is just to be sure that n no plugin, for example, is blocked by uh, your Windows Defender. It should be down there in the uh, bottom right corner. So as you can see, you can do a lot of uh, like network analysis, a lot of things really. It's a great tool. The first thing to do is probably option, uh, enable start as admin, and then I do, what's the next one? Yeah, make default. So system informer is not the default task manager. You can check that by uh, right clicking the taskbar, task manager, it's not indeed. So make default, this is gonna change the, the registry, right? The dot reg. Uh, and of course you can restore default if you want to fully uninstall um, System Informer before uh, getting rid of all the files. Don't forget to go back into the options and restore default, right? But now if we Task Manager is now System Informer by default. All right, so now on to the fun part. Um, I've launched Coltic. We're in a level, so there is uh, some 3D calculus going on. Um, if we go to our system informer, we go to system information CPU, as you can see, 
Coltic is uh, well, using every single CPU core approximately between zero and like 35%. Um, let's imagine for some completely arbitrary reason that we want to force Coltic to only run on CPU core zero. Um, so we only select CPU zero. We go back to Affinity, we do save for Coltic.exe. And now as you can see, well, it's completely bottlenecking on uh, <laughs> Core Zero, but it does force the application on Core Zero, which is, I'm guessing, a, yeah, of course, of course, it's a bad idea. So it's uh, it's very choppy, as you can see, because every time it reaches a hundred percent, the CPU says no, I uh, I can't calculate things anymore. Please help. But hey, on certain specific games, it does serve a purpose. Not on this one. <laughs> so I'm going to put it back. Because if I forget and I only have one core, I'm going to wonder for a long time what's happening. Second great thing you can very easily do on the System Informer is uh, changing your priority settings. So for example, if we put it in high, I think real-time is always a bad idea. I've never seen people using real-time. Um, we do save for Coltic. We close the application. We relaunch the application. I can close this. Well, it's already here. So as you can see, priority, you relaunched, it relaunched in high. As long as you do save, it's gonna just keep this setting every time. It's having trouble launching. I swear to God, it's not. <laughs> That's the game. Okay. Um, well, anyway, how, I hope this helped at least uh, some of you. And uh, well, that's gonna be it for me. Bye and see you in the next one.